All right, uh, French onion soup. It's real simple the way I do it. I've got a beef stock here, which I just used from this bouillon. I like this one the best. Um, and I just do this to taste, you know. You just taste it, make sure it's tasting like a beef soup base, you know, just real basic. And I just keep it on a lower temperature as soon as I uh, get it to a rolling boil and it's all incorporated, all good to go. Anyway, now... I've got uh, some onions I'm sautéing here, and I'm going to sauté them until they caramelize. Now, what you want here is a cube of butter, a couple onions in there is what I've chopped up. I've done a yellow and a white onion. You can do up to five onions, however many onions you want. And I mean even five different kinds. It doesn't matter. But uh, what you want here to help the caramelizing process is about a teaspoon of sugar in there. And that will help sweeten it and it helps the caramelizing process, okay? About a cube of butter goes in there. As you can see, it's real nice. It's incorporated real good. And all I'm doing is playing with it, and the caramelizing takes about 20 minutes. We'll go from there. All right, here we go. we got some good color on the uh, onions here. That caramelizing process is definitely sort of taking over. As you can see here, got a nice golden color here. And I want it a little bit more. As you can see, there's plenty of butter in there. What I like to do at this point is just my personal favorite, is I like to add some scallions. That garlic's going to help, too. I've got about two cloves worth that are all finely chopped up. And to tell you the truth, I just get it minced in a jar. So that's all you need. And I put the garlic in now here at the end so it doesn't burn. And I don't want these uh, green onions just turning into mush either, these scallions here, that is. So I add those at the end, too, just to give them a, a little bit of a rinse there in that butter. And here, I'm going to add flour as a thickening agent here with this. And we'll incorporate that. No big deal. That'll help it all thicken up. Okay, in the meantime, we got to add a bay leaf over here to the uh, broth. I'm going to add about a third cup of this red wine. You can use white wine, whatever you want, but just make sure you don't use too much because it can be overwhelming and it completely screw up your soup big time. Okay? So be sparing on your wine. I'm going to use some thyme, half teaspoon to a, to a teaspoon, whatever your personal tastes are, because I know it can be overwhelming a lot to some people, but I think it's it's really good. And you can't mess it up too much in pizza sauces or uh, spaghetti sauce, a lot of Italian dishes. But uh, anyway, that will help develop the flavors here in this broth before we add everything else here, which is just about ready to go now. I'm going to add some black pepper, which is fresh ground, so I've got to do it with two hands. But just trust that I did it here right turn off the camera, go to the next break. Okay, there I've added the pepper as well. Now back to the onions here. So you can see we're good to go. So we're going to add the onions to the soup, to the broth that is, and make it a soup. Probably shaking the camera a lot. Sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, this is how you do it live. <laughs> And we'll get that stirred, incorporated. And you want all the flavors to really mix well here and cook for a while. And it'll really flavor that broth before we start throwing it over the top of our bread and adding the cheese and whatnot. So we're going to give it uh, a good 10 minutes in here like this. Now, personally, I like to bring it back up to a rolling boil again. So all those flavors have a real good chance of incorporating in there, especially with that bay leaf and whatnot, too. Okay, But I bring it to a rolling boil again before I turn it down to a simmer. Okay, here we're back with it. As you can see, it's reduced a little bit, which is what I want. I wanted it thick. Now, this bay leaf right here, you want to get rid of that. Nobody wants to choke on a bay leaf. Okay. Now, what I've got here, uh, plated-wise, is just a piece of uh, garlic toast. That's what I like. I like a thick piece of buttered seasoned garlic toast. Now, 
traditionally it's uh, you know some country bread or some French bread and whatnot you know that you slice in there but this is what I like let's get a good scoop of the soup and I like a lot of this so let's go ahead and just pile it on there and traditionally the cheese that you're going to throw on there is a fontina or a, a gruyere but I like Swiss cheese but just so you know you can go with either the point is to get a real bold cheese that can blend here with all these flavors and uh, as much as you want that's the beauty of making it at home right instead of just getting it at a restaurant you make it exactly the way you like it and uh, I like a lot on that now I'm going to go ahead and, and do the uh, oven. I've got it on a broil right now as you can see here. We're set to broil and uh, I'm going to pop open the oven which is hot as hell and I'm going to put this under the broil here for just a minute or two. Just enough to get a real good melt and burn on the cheese. Alright let's go for it. It's been a couple minutes here under the broiler Oh yeah, I can hear it sizzling. Let's try not to burn myself because the broiler's hot. Ooh, or spill it on the on the way out there. Ooh. Shut the oven. There we go. See it's sizzling. It's good to go. That's my French onion soup right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen recipe can be found at poormansgourmetkitchen.com